it's too tight. Dress too short, clean those shoes. Morning, Mr. Ring. You're too fat to lose 30 pounds. Thank you, sir. I hate that. Don't do it. There, drop the mumbo jumbo. What's the value of my stock right now? That's what I want to know. No, I say sell it now. I cut my losses by 50%. Brokers. Good morning, Bo. Good morning. I've lost 7,000 bucks before homeroom, and you say good morning. As a new editor of the school paper, I feel that it is time to make the Beaver Tops the best in the state. We're going to need more articles that will leap out at the reader to cause them to think. That's why I think we're going to do more articles about me. Oh, Bo! Uh, they'll be off that. Hi, how y'all doing? Oh, Bo. Oh. I'm so excited about School Pride Week. It's the pageantry. It's the tradition. It's the story about me as your float queen. Yep, for the 25th consecutive year, a Middleton and the Students for a Continuing Good Way of Life Club will win the float competition. Uh, I... Well said. What is your float theme going to be for this year? You no, know, I don't know. Francois Poisson is flying in from Cannes, and, uh, well, I'm sure he'll design something. Middleton. Man. Oh, we'll figure out where this goes later. Hey, Manners, keep this garbage pail away from my car. Did, did I hear Bo Middleton's voice or was it a dream? Could it be? Oh! It wasn't a dream, it was Bo! 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 It's so darn swell to see you. One door ding in my car and you're a little white spot in the pavement. Oh, Bo, why do we constantly bicker so? Move that car away from mine. Bo, rust isn't contagious. You're in a no parking zone. But Bo's car's taking up a space and a half. I don't care. Detention? Mr. Ng, I've got two years of school left and four years of detention to do. How are we going to work this thing out? May I suggest a morning visit with the principal? Mm -hmm. Hello, Bo. Morning, sir. Am I off and running or what? JJ, you have to stop giving Mr. Ng reasons to give you detention. Pete, the guy's on my case. He's a vice principal. He's just doing his job. You do tend to bend the rules a bit. I mean, you seldom do homework, you're always late for class, and Mr. Reeves says you're flunking French. French? I didn't even know I took it. Okay, it's time for a little principal advice here. JJ, you're on the outside looking in. Get involved in school. I don't know, I... It's not me, I can't just... Pete? You! Is this a coronary? Should I be holding your tongue or something? Mr. Kinney? Hello, I'm Miss Franklin, your substitute teacher for the week. Oh, sure, fine. Uh, great. Uh, can I take your coat? Can I take your dress? JJ. I think I'm going to like this school very much. Uh, Miss Franklin? Cindy. Cindy? You'll be substituting for Mr. Beautiful. Uh, Buford. Smooth. Real smooth. You'll be teaching his English classes. This isn't fair. I don't have Mr. Buford for English. Oh, that's too bad. I'm a lot of fun in the classroom. Oh, so am I. I I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll trade all my classes for six hours of English. You'll also be assuming Buford's duties as faculty advisor to the student float committee. Oh, this is great. We'll be together constantly. I got a million questions. You're in the float competition? I forgot to tell you, didn't I? May I show you to your room? You just happen to be going my way, I suppose. Isn't life crazy? Bye-bye. <clears throat> Bye. Ah, uh, Pete. School just got a lot better. Sure did. I just said bye-bye. A grown man said bye-bye. Boy. Mr. Kinney, would you sign these, please? 
Mrs. Crosley, I want to ask you a question and you answer me honestly, okay? Mm-hmm. You've known me for some time now, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I had you my junior year for history. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Crosley, am I boring? What? Nothing. Thank you. What does he think I am, his mother? Here we are. Your classroom awaits. Well, thank you, JJ. Oh, man. There you go. I'll be looking forward to working with you in the float committee. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, you've got a float? Aren't you happy for me? What club is sponsoring you? Ah, uh, club? Yeah. School rules state that a school club has to sponsor any float. Auto Shop is my sponsor. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, everybody, can you believe this? Those mutants. <laughs> you and your Neanderthals haven't got a chance. <laughs> no the trophy stays in Middleton hands. Yeah. Right. You guys here are real people, Bo. You gotta try it sometime. It's fun. <laughs> well, what do you guys think? Huh? I've never been humiliated in front of so many people in my life. Usually it's just one at a time. So what made you say you were going to build a float? I mean, next thing to be joining the math club and carrying a briefcase. Miss Franklin, I gotta be near her. She's incredible. It's either uh, build a float or have her adapt me. You're doing this to be near a teacher? No, she's not like a teacher. I mean, she's more like one of us. I get the feeling I could say anything to her and she'd understand. I've never been around anyone like that. She smells like strawberries. We're close. I almost got it. Auto shop is going to build your float. Okay, I'm ready. Turn it over. Lift your feet. Well, what happened, Bandini? I don't know, but I sure made good time. No, you better talk to these guys now before they kill each other. Cease fire! Hey, guys, come here. Come on over here. I want to talk to you. Come on. Look, I meant what I said this morning about the auto shop building a float. No way. I've got enough going against me already. I've got two kids. I'm 26. I'm married. And I'm only a sophomore. Yeah, and what about Bo? You know we're all just a bunch of really stupid losers anyway, J.J. That's right. What am I hearing? You call your, yourselves losers? A am I the only one who believes in you guys? I said Auto Shop is going to build a float. I said that because I believe in you guys. You guys are winners. Come on, the bows of the world have put us down for the last time. Let's beat them at their own game. How am I doing? I don't know about them, but look at Sirota. <laughs> I think that we should make Bo Middleton eat dirt. You can count Chucky and I out. Yeah. It's too bad. 
I was really hoping you guys would interview dozens of pretty girls for the auto shop queen. JJ's right. We're winners. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mr. Ring? Yes, Bo. I'm concerned. About what? Manners. He's entered Pride Week's float competition. Sir, it's the biggest event of the year. Even school superintendent McCarthy will be there. Oh, McCarthy, right. Sir, when my grandfather founded this event, he envisioned fair play. And working within the rules, manners is just... Well... It's just that the float that wins the Arthur P. Middleton Cup, named for and by my grandfather, should be someone who best represents this school, not someone who would mock our institution. Mm. Mm. I see your point. Thank you, Bo. I'll keep an eye on young manners. You have detention again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow as long as Ing lives. I don't know, JJ. When I was your age, I didn't get into trouble. Teachers like me. Parents love me. I guess it was because I was so sincere. I have put up notices all around school asking any dynamite girls to interview with us for auto shop float queen. Our lives are turning out exactly as I predicted. Watch yourselves. Women can turn into real animals in those interviews. Whoa. Whoa. What about a theme? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a theme. theme. Wait, you got any ideas? Guns. Bamboo. Booby traps. A, a tribute to the grunt sloshing his way through hell. Sounds fun. No, we want a float that glorifies the American woman. Yeah, we're kind of into that. You know, a day at the beach with women in bikinis and, and sunbathing and jumping around. Sure puts a smile on my face. Oh, well, I think that's dumb. I think you're dumb, Dirty Kurt. Well, it takes one to know one. Shut up. JJ, what do you think? One sec. I'll be right back. I got it. Paris, France. The Louvre. The Eiffel Tower. Dini, that's incredible. You actually said three words in a row that connect. Uh, I've got to lie down. JJ. Good afternoon. Can I help you fluff? <laughs> what a nice surprise. I've been thinking about you. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, let me help you with that. Thanks. Okay. You live around here? Yeah, I'm staying with someone a few blocks away. Oh. Have you known him long? Sort of. He's an elderly person, known as my grandma. Oh. I'm not even dating anyone right now. Oh. You ask a lot of questions, don't you? Uh, well, you're a teacher. You shape our minds. I like to know who's molding me. Fair enough. I'm 26. I have a BA in education, and I'm currently studying for my master's uh, in psychology. <laughs> <clears throat> What about you? 
I like to know who I'm molding. I'm an adorable little scamp, and I floss regularly. What more do you need to know? Tell me about your parents. I got two problems. Maybe a stepfather somewhere. Uh, Ma either divorced dad or left. Either way, she made her point. Oh. Sorry. No, why? I got a bedroom. I get to, to cook, clean, sew, get to practice hook slides in the living room. What more could a 17-year-old kid want? What about a 17-year-old girl? Or any age. Age doesn't matter, does it? No. Well, I'm besides in dog years, I'm somewhere in my mid-90s. Hey, JJ, come on. I gotta go. Listen, when, when you tumble dry, think of me. What happened? Oh, we had a little disagreement. Couldn't agree on a theme. So? We'll do them all. What? A three in one float. What, a Vietnam flashback with the Eiffel Tower at a nude beach? Well, it's original. Then it kind of says auto shop. You gotta admit that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this high school paper stuff. It's so high school. You know what's those papers out in the real world? What? Gossip, sensationalism, and smut. That's what we should be digging up. Yes, Mr. Ng. You're up to something. Pardon me? Going to classes, doing schoolwork. You're a model student. Oh, Mr. Kinney suggested I get involved with school. I know what you're doing. What am I doing? <laughs> I know. What am I doing? You should know. I know I should. You know Superintendent McCarthy is coming for the Pride Week float parade. So don't you dare do it. I like the man's style. Subtle, vague, with the hint of paranoia. Combination that makes my life just that much more exciting. Hey, JJ! Hey, my main man, my boys. How you doing? Great. Listen, Archie and I are interviewing 20 girls for Auto Shop Float Queen. Our whole lives have been pointed to this moment. There's no way we can blow it. Wow. Look who's here. It's the Auto Shop idiots. <laughs> Hey, it's four geeks, no waiting. You morons are wasting your time. <laughs> oh, I just love it when the gang drops by, don't you guys? <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go! Kurt! Hey! Come on, come on! Be careful! Craig, ride with the guys. I got something to do, okay? Yeah? Hey, you gonna drop by later? Of course. Go get him! Oh, sacre bleu! Master Middleton! Francois, comment ça va? Ça va bien? J'espère que oui. Sorry, we are late. And we got this craving for ice cream. You understand? Don't you? Oh, oh. Francois Poisson is never kept waiting. Pardon. Oh, je me. Pardon mille fois, pardon. Oh, allez, allez. The plans. I have drawn up the boat plans. I am very pleased. Wonderful. <laughs> it will be my greatest creation. Beautiful, beautiful. We expect nothing less from you, Francois. <laughs> oh, Monsieur, vous êtes très joli. Merci. <laughs> Going home? Might as well. School's over for the day. Right. Doing a very good job here. Thank you. Very good job. <laughs> Thank you again. See, I, I was wondering. Hi! I'm here. It's here for the kid. And why is the kid here? Uh, I got a float building. You're the float faculty advisor. And me, I need advising. Well, does she have work to do? I'll see you tomorrow. Keep in touch. Bye-bye. Night and night. 
night. Oh, Mr. Kinney, I've been thinking about our conversation, and I keep coming to the same conclusion. You are a boring man. Cute, but very boring. There, I hope I've been able to help a little. I'm stabbing your insides. What's wrong? You know, you haven't been by the float all week, and it's already Friday. I've been busy with Miss Franklin and all those float meetings. Yeah, I know. You know, by the way, I read an interesting article about the increased amount of older women going with younger men. I wonder how young, huh? Look, JJ, the guys are doing the best they can. But they're the guys, you know? They need help. They need you. Good. I'm a happy guy. All right. That matters. Yeah. Nice hand. Yeah. What? JJ. Sorry, buddy. I know I'm beckoning when I see one. Check you later. You come here often? After today? Never again. Look at J.J. over there. He's so natural, so at ease. She's crazy about him. Well, you were just like him as a kid. I know. When did this happen? Stop whining and eat. I know how she feels, though. I'm going with the younger guy. He's 56. An animal. Hey! Hey, J.J. Guys! You should see the float. So far, we picked 12 queens. We're gonna win, I think. 12 queens. You said that. I know, I still, I can't believe it. That trophy's in the bag. Look, guys, we, we kind of wanted to be alone. Go ahead! Listen, why don't we get together tomorrow and talk? S Saturday? Yeah. After the Smurfs, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my, my place? That'd be great. I'll make lunch. Great. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Well, honey, I've been thinking about the auto shop boys. What about them? They seem very, very happy. <laughs> That's unlike people like that, adults in general. You know, maybe they do have a spectacular float. That J.J. is rude and crude, but he's just resourceful enough to lead the people into coming up with something good. I think we better make sure. I want you guys to pay a visit to the uh, auto shop float tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy's dropping by for lunch. Romantic, huh? Sunlight streaming through the window. A little soft mm -hmm. music. And the most important ingredient of all, Mr. Romance himself, me. Cindy, the meatloaf was divine. Tired? You look a little tired. Why don't you just stretch out here on the couch? Are you comfortable? 
Okay, what time is she coming? She arrives at Casa Bingo around noon, noon 30, somewhere around there. Good. It's about 10.30 now. We've got about two hours. You're coming with me. What? Look, JJ, I'm your pal. When you goof up, I gotta tell you. And you said you'd come by yesterday, and you didn't. So we got about five hours to parade time, and let's move. <laughs> what could be so bad? There's no one around. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Gentlemen, a toast to the greatest float in the world. Death to the best float! Hey, there goes a float just like ours. Hey, you! Stop! Hey, the parade started! junk it hasn't been scratched huh he's right it's perfect that's the way we built it i guess we let you down jj no no i'm the guy who let you down i got you going and then i abandoned you Hey, guys, I mean, this float is not without possibilities. That's the beauty of the structure you created here. It's nondescript, a few changes here, a little thinking there. I think we can still pull this thing off. Really? Yeah. yeah. We're auto shop. Right. Yeah. We're winners. Yeah. 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 We're going to get Bo. Great, Hal. We feed him false information that is so incredible that he goes running to Ing. When it doesn't pan out, Ing will be all over him. Uh. Huh? 
Archie, Archie and Chucky. What? We got to know what Bo's up to. Yeah. He might strike again. So I want you guys to go over there and spy around. No problem. Okay. Before you go, I wanted to ask your opinion about an idea I had for the float. Yeah. What? I want to add a stripper to it. A stripper? JJ, you're a genius. I can see it now. The float is coming around the corner past the reviewing stand, and pow! A gorgeous woman is taking off all of her clothes. Whoa. <laughs> go get them. <laughs> Done. They'll uh, get caught and spill the beans, or I don't know, my Chuckies and Archies. Mm -hmm. Miss Franklin. I gotta go. JJ, we've got four hours to work miracles here. You're right. I'm giving up a gorgeous, sensual, willing woman for a parade. Hey, hey, help! <laughs> Trophy to me. Okay, so far so good. Now we quietly lower ourselves over the side, and then we do some spying on Bo. Cool. What was that? Check it out. How's it going? Out. We're miles from my home, Bo. We're in Pex Woods. We're miles from anywhere. Get out. Sure, this is good enough. Okay. Tell me what you were doing at my house. We're not talking. Okay, 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 okay. JJ said that we're gonna have a stripper on the float, and then he told us to go over to your house and spy on you. Really? <laughs> You're not getting another word out of me. There's nothing left to tell, Dippo. With no pants, it's going to be pretty hard to warn JJ that you told us his secret, guys. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Archie, we're naked. I'm totally aware of that, Chucky. We can't go home like this. Our, our families would kill us. There will be questions. I've got it. The school's that way. We'll sneak into the gym. We'll put on our gym clothes. We'll go home. We'll get some more clothes. And then we'll go to the braid. I mean, after all, we got 12 queens to greet. <laughs> So we took their clothes. They're out there naked in Pex Woods. Is it JJ's got a stripper? Yeah. Oh, reload. Well, now, Bo, um, now, you're much smarter than me, but tell me why would JJ tell this deep, dark secret to Chucky and Archie? They are a couple of blabbermouth wimps. Yeah, I wonder why. Well, could it be that he wants you to think that he's got a stripper? And then you're gonna run to Ing and look like a fool. That's what I was thinking. Only I forgot. Skip, Biff. We'll make sure JJ's got a stripper on his float.
to the students who've done a great job. Oh, I bet they have. Well, Mr. and Mrs. McCarthy, you know Mr. Ng? Of course. Oh, hello, Superintendent McCarthy. What a pl... I'd like you to meet our newest member of Excelsior Union, Cindy Franklin. Oh, in all my years as superintendent of schools, I have never seen a prettier teacher. Yes, from buttocks, supple thighs, marvelous chest definition. <laughs> my wife teaches an exercise class. Well, thank you very much. Ms. McCarthy, I'm so happy you consented to be our float judge. Oh, it's my pleasure. Shall I show you to the reviewing stand? Thank you. What? You guys tell me. Huh? This is a piece of art. It's Louvre material, no question about it. Definitely. Uh, Kurt, take your position. Bandini, you're gonna drive. Me? Crazy, huh? I just feel like living on the edge for the next hour. No problem. Hey, where's our queen? Oh, Archie and Chucky couldn't say no to any of the contestants, so, um, the girls are sorting things out for themselves right now. Okay, that's it, right over there. All right. Be great. And there's another hundred in it for you. You got it. Close the fold-out bed. How about that for subtle, huh? JJ, I think I might have given you the wrong impression. You see, I'm going to be the new guidance counselor, and Mr. Kinney has been concerned about you. And I thought we should talk to see if I could set you back on the right track. Not to... You know? Did I make a complete idiot out of myself? Look, why don't we start all over again? And this time, you can think about me as your older sister. Okay. And you can think of me as Tom Selleck. Fair enough. Look, it, it wouldn't have worked out anyways. I mean, I've got detention every night, and our kids would never see me. <laughs> Excuse me, J.J. Huggis interrupt this. Uh, Would you come to the carpet? Bye. Two hundred bucks. Helps any offer I had today. Great. Hide her. Where? Anywhere. Just get her away from here. There's something very bow about this situation. I knew he was such a something. You were right, sir. Jay Manners and his auto shop club have a degenerate woman on their float. A foul lowlife who belongs back in the slimy gutters where she came from. That happens to be my wife. Let's have a little talk in your office, Zane. Mr. McCarthy, I'm sure there's an explanation here. Oh! You're in trouble, Mr. A. Hey. <laughs> uh, sir, sir, I can explain. 
This isn't very funny, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Would you have dinner with me tonight? I'd love to. And don't feel obligated just because I'm the If you didn't prince... ask me by tomorrow, I would have asked you myself. You do real well here, you know? Mr. Kenny! Excuse me. I told you I'd get it. Come on. Arch, it's locked. Chucky, what? Chucky. No! Arch! No! No, stop! Stop! Wait! Wait! Someone's coming! Everything that Someone's coming! Quick! Come on! Quiet, Bo. What it is, Mr. Petrarch, is, is that we don't really have an absolute hold on the insurance. You, sir, there's no problem whatsoever. Who is there to do with this nothing at all? Come on. Why don't we step into my office, Mr. McCarthy? I know you Where's my 200 bucks? Mr. Ring, prostitute? No, 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 no! Let's see if it's clear to go inside. They're coming. Over here! There must be some mistake here. Just have this feeling that they're written. Mr. McCarthy, please, why don't we just get away from here and talk this thing out? Yeah, we, 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 we can go in my car. Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. Hookers and now young boys, and you call my wife a degenerate? What are you doing here? Bo Dare, I swear, Bo Dare, things should be done to him. Middleton's going to pay for this. Now that Auto Shop has been awarded first runner-up honors, it's time to announce that the grand prize this year goes to Students for a Continuing Good Way of Life float from Excelsior Union High. has been disqualified. Why? You know, and I know, and you know I know you know. No, if you don't know, you should know. Oh, he knows! Everyone knows he knows. According to the rules of the Arthur P. Middleton Cup, when the float competition winner is disqualified, and please, Bo, as a human being, I'm begging you, please correct me if I'm wrong, but... I believe that the trophy is awarded to the first runner-up float. <gasps> Why, that's us? <laughs> He's right. This year's grand prize winning float goes to Excelsior High School Auto Shop Club. <laughs> Steve Martin, Johnny Carson, and many more show you TV's funniest moments of the last 30 years on those wonderful TV game shows. Next, later, you'll flip out for Saturday Night Live with host Flip Wilson and musical guest Stevie Nicks.